Hi everyone, my name is Tom Watkins with Advanced Upstream and today we'd like to share with you a test of our limitless system with two sequential stages. On the right side of me, uh, your left side of the view, we have two limitless sleeves. The first one will be a limitless cluster sleeve or repeater sleeve and then right adjacent to it is the landing sleeve. So what will happen? In the first stage of this uh, test, or, or a well if you will, we're going to land our dart um, in the cluster sleeve, it'll open it and then progress along through and land in the landing sleeve. At that point we'll see a jet of water coming out of the cluster sleeve and as well the landing sleeve. We'll show that activation. Um, the next stage of the well, which would be stage two in a well or, or whatever, it doesn't really matter, we'll land an additional dart. So we'll, we'll stop pumping, load an additional dart, and that particular dart will land in the next stage up here to the right of the view, which is what we have here. So this only has one landing sleeve, but what will happen at that point, once our dart activates and lands in the second stage, the flow that we'll be seeing through the subsequent stages will cease. This one will open and we'll see a jet of water coming out of this. At that point, we know that our dart has landed in the next stage, isolated the lower zones, and has successfully counted through the remaining stages in the fixture. So upstream of the fixture here, we have several other sleeves. In this case, we have three additional sleeves that the dart needs to pass through, count, and decide to activate in the correct sleeve downhole. So we're at the other end of the fixture. This is where we're going to load the dart. Uh, we have a hammer union connection here where the dart will be loaded into the fixture. Um, that'll happen here in just a moment. But I'll just point out the additional hardware that we have in the fixture. We've got three additional sleeves that the dart needs to pass through and count prior to engaging in the, the bottommost sleeve. Um, additionally, we've got some concrete blocks around just to make sure nothing's going to move around. We've got some of the bottom of the, the jig and as well these two in the middle here that'll prevent anything from moving. So Vass, let's get going. Let's load the dart in the, in the fixture and, and get going here. Good thing it's a nice warm day. Yep. So in the dart goes, again it is directional so we have to push the uh, down hole in down. So in just a minute we'll begin pumping. What will happen is this dart will pass through all of our sleeves, our non-target sleeves, activate, open the cluster sleeve and open the last landing sleeve and we'll see two jets of water coming out of the bottom of the fixture. We'll pump for a few moments so that we can observe those jets. We'll stop pumping. Then we'll load an additional dart which will open the next stage in this, in this fixture or the next sequence uh, or sequential stage in your well. The copy? Okay, we're ready to launch the dart. We'll give the command to launch. The dart will pass through all of the non-target sleeves, activate, and then we should see an opening of our cluster sleeve and the final landing sleeve. So here you can see the cluster sleeve and the landing sleeve have opened, and we're circulating through both of them. So this would simulate a two-point of entry frack. We can control the size of the orifices through adjustable orifice plates that are hardened to give a, a limited entry style performance of your frack. So what will be happening next, we'll stop the pumps, we'll break our line, we'll add our next dart to the fixture, which will then isolate the two stages that are flowing now and open the next stage that's in the, in the fixture. So what we have now, our limitless dart has landed in the landing sleeve through the cluster sleeve opened it and we have two points of entry into the formation from our completion. Okay, so we've landed our first stage into the cluster sleeve and landing sleeve. Now we're getting ready to launch the second dart, which will open this stage here, which is a single point entry sleeve. Again, we've got a, a protector sleeve around the outside and a small orifice that will, will provide us with a jet. The 
streams that we'll see downstream from the original stage, once a dart lands in this stage, these streams will cease. You'll see them drop. We'll see this stream spray, and then we know we've got isolation from our second stage from our first stage. So we'll get ready here. We're gonna break the connection, load the dart, and get going. And again, our darts have a, an uphole and downhole direction. We're taking care to install it in the correct orientation with the downhole end facing downhole. Excellent guys, we'll get, uh, get the pumps ready, we'll launch it and we'll see stage two open and stage one, the cluster and landing sleeve streams cease and the stream come from stage two. Hey Vass, ready to launch the dart at will. Okay, we're ready, we're starting. As you can see, we've got fluid out of our first stage sleeves again. And when the dart activates and hits our stage two, our downstream streams will cease and our second stage will begin. So you can see our downstream stages have ceased and our second stage has about uh, 21 MPA differential across it or about 3000 PSI. So we've successfully demonstrated two stages of a potential thousand well or thousand stage well probably more realistically 250. Jalen if you want to zoom into our downstream stage one you can see there's no fluid exiting those stages. And all of the fluid is now being directed to stage two. Vass, what, uh, what pressure are you reading right now on the line? So we've got 22 MPA across this particular sleeve right now. This, uh, this restrictor that we have in this sleeve was designed to test inside, so that's why we don't have a, a huge amount of water coming out. But if this sleeve was wide open, we'd have whatever fluid would be pushing through it, spraying everywhere. So again, we've got about 22 MPA, or about 3,000 PSI across this particular sleeve right now. 3,000 differential across our dart, isolating stage two from stage one. So that concludes the test for today. I really want to thank my team because without them this wouldn't be possible. Advanced Upstream isn't myself or Jaehoon, it's a combination of our team efforts to deliver the best completions to the field. Advanced Upstream, Gold, Gold Standard. Standard.